Our final speaker tonight is curator of public programs for the Ann Arbor Art Center and an arts and Ann Arbor enthusiast. Please give it up for Amari Rush. My heart leaps up when I behold a rainbow in the sky. So was it when my life began? So is it now I am a man? So let it be when I grow old or let me die. Words from William Wordsworth. My own heart leaps when I see that Jeff Kuhn sculpture. And in my newest job at the Ann Arbor Art Center, I'm working to regularize that sensation, helping continue to make the Ace Deuce a great place to live, work, and play. I spent the summer, often at Lab Cafe, my second office, meeting with a diverse set of folks in our town, or familiar with our town, to gain their insights and ideas, and to ensure I embedded community responsiveness in our project. Among that group, there was a consistent sense that one, bad design is terrorizing Ann Arbor in the way that this Richard Branson-esque big kahuna is terrorizing the south coast of Great Britain. Two, that moments of discovery are surprisingly limited here. And three, that, um, three, that there's a desire to go back to the good old days in Ann Arbor, uh, a time when you could be a kid and smoke and not have anybody say anything to you. But there is hope though. The way that these Olaf grinding clouds add a sense of wonder to New York City's skyline, we can enhance quality of place in Ann Arbor too. And we know that quality of place is impacted by a community, social offerings, openness, and aesthetics. And we have plenty of tools at our disposal to affect positive change. So we don't have to feel like it's a giant rubber ducky sized task. So here's what we can do. We can simply add color to our city especially important in those gray winter months. Detroit Sea Lot is a great example of taking a fairly banal building, a parking structure, and turning it into a destination by filling it with murals of 27 international artists. Building owners or property managers might also make artistic decisions in construction or improvement projects. For instance, using different color paints on the facade of a building or lighting walkways with colorful or patterned projections. Speaking of buildings, great ones are gateways to increased distinction and increased property values. Architects like Robert Metcalf felt almost a responsibility to contribute to building our city and did so by constructing incredible modern homes. Challenges to this include architects making spectacular design affordable and investors taking on short-term costs that actually produce stronger long-term gains. Further mending of our economy will likely facilitate this. We can also fill our city with more um, bits of wonder and spectacle, just as this greenhouse uh, shelters a sculpture made of newspaper, wood, and chimney parts. Pretty legit. New York City's High Line, the elevated rail turned public space, uh, houses sculptures like this Josh Klein piece, Skittles, which uh, illuminates the area and defines modern society in bottles tasty enough to drink, kinda. Um, those dynamic pieces of art have an ability to wow us, to advance ideas around social justice, or to just generally add additional attention to an event, just as the 68-foot hippo does for the Thames River Festival. We can also allow for more infrastructure for, public, for personal expression to pop up in town. This color studio allows kids to use crayons to express themselves with their heads or feet. We could have these kinds of things pop up in vacant real estate spaces all around town in mutually beneficial partnership with real estate owners. If you've been to Cleveland recently, maybe you've been to Playoff Square and seen this outdoor chandelier that creates place and space for performances and Instagram worthy um, photo ops. Atlanta's High Art Museum has also erected this Mikasa exhibit on their campus. It allows for people to rest, play, meet artists, and discover new things at these flexible and whimsical gestures of house frames. So what's next for us in Ann Arbor? We can certainly make more murals and more mosaics. We can invest in arts and cultural organizations, and we can support artists playing and drawing among us every day. The reinvestment fund, 
talks about artists and says that they are natural placemakers. They repurpose assets, uh, uncover assets better than anybody else, and they're poised to do it collaboratively or self-reliantly. At the Ann Arbor Art Center, we're working on all of these things in partnership with the Ann Arbor Area Community Foundation and Nissen Family. We want to add to the distinction of Ann Arbor as a great and prosperous place and invite you to give us a hand in doing that, or a finger. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Amari, and thank you to all our speakers.